never seen anything like this before. Here they come. For the Eternal Empress, mistress of the Red Court, favored of the Thane. Yet it is nothing. Hoofless, feckless, interloper. Hey, hey, easy now. And where it stands, it dies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. maybe we can talk about this? It's 
stands before the eternal empress, once and future ruler of Yesha. Her majesty asks once more, what brings the Pexotec to her court? Answer, for eternal life is not the same as eternal patience. From the Krell to Ford to the Destroyer, Paxotec ever served the wants of the self. <sighs> there is no name more cursed in these royal halls. When the pestilence came, Ford succored the schismatics. Treachery turned to ruin. Ruin to desperation. Her Majesty would see Ford bleed, would see all Paxotec put to the blade. But the Paxotec prowess is fearful. Ford, the Destroyer, and others were staggering, undeniable. Perhaps Paxotec's strength can serve to liberate rather than oppress. Her Majesty, in her eternal wisdom, will grant it grace. The Paxotec's life in exchange for another's. Gods, teach the Paxotec to bow before eternity! The in a step. It has passed the test. But it laid these guys low, proving that it was the one her permanence seeks. The one for a task both deadly and delicate. Bah, forbearance, Paxaldeck. Her permanence suspected it would meet the challenge, but she had to be certain. Assured, unequivocal. The reward she offers is great. She desires nothing more than to bring the Nunyata back to the pen. To let her subject share the death of death with her. Restoration. This desire burns steadily. Like her eternity, it is unexpected. Distinguished by the turning of passion, of bias, of the sundering. But a dark spirit bedevils her will. An abomination, a mockery, a horror, wretched in her sight. Let its Paxotec nature touch this abomination. Be not her bane, but her blade. Fell the creature in tribute, then it shall have its reward. Be brief, even to frequent supplication tests her eternity's grace. Does it need a reason to obey eternity? Perhaps hating the fiend as we do would sharpen its edge. We once had a guardian, a god of many faces. This one of many was destroyed by Paxotec. And now, in the guardian's rotting remains, root and ruin have entwined into a horror and a mockery of divinity. Hmm. 
just so. Mm. Peace and greatness, Paxotec. Nonyutav will once again return to the Eternal Court, bringing immortality to the deserved. And the Deathless One will put her hoof through the black heart of the Root. The end of the Root is a blessing to all. Her eternity aches to sing them into oblivion. When the Dark Spirit wormed its decay into our god, the husk of the Blessed Thane grew malign. The Eternal Ziggurat was torn asunder. Our world now hangs by its tendrils, and our future by a strand of hope thinner still. Its sympathy is poor recompense for what its kind have cost the pan. The foolish Kuri Kuri could sooner comprehend the desires of the sun than the Paxeltec could grasp the powers of her permanence. Not as she does. None can. The path to desire is neither easy nor safe. Go forth, Blade. Cut away the rot that plagues this world. Prove there is one Paxotec that is more useful living than dead. What is it, Paxotec? Be brief. Even to frequent supplication tests her eternity's grace. Mm. Peace and greatness, Paxotec. Nunyutav will once again return to the Eternal Court, bringing immortality to the deserved. And the Deathless One will put her hoof through the black heart of the Root. The end of the Root is a blessing to all. Her eternity aches to sing them into oblivion. When the Dark Spirit wormed its decay into our god, our world now hangs. <sighs> Her tread care.